want to do your own puppet show, then you should watch the video. Coming up at the end of this song, it's called Matthew Robbins. Let's make your own something very far away puppet. Puppet Three. We are going to make the lower part of the arm and the wrist. And um, this is kind of complicated. Well, I think I do it in quite a complicated way because we want the wrist to move at a different angle to the elbow, if you can see that there. With this smaller piece that you've already made, you want to sandwich on two more pieces of card. You want them to be cut with a bit of an angle with a narrow end on the edge, like this. Cut off the extra leather, and then just make sure that there's, that there's lots of glue, and then just put a clothes peg on for a second. Take the upper arm piece, and you're gonna cut three more pieces of card, a little bit shorter than it. And then you're going to cut one piece that's about a centimetre shorter than the piece you've just cut. Take two of those pieces, the shorter one and one of the other pieces, and cut this little notch out of it so they look like little 8-bit rabbits. Now you need to get another piece of this grey card ready. Just take a strip about the same length. What we're going to do is, with the knife, we're going to carefully split it down the middle. It'll come apart quite easily and you'll be left with two thinner pieces. Put one aside, we'll need that in a minute. And just bend this a little bit to get it a little bit supple. You need the hand piece again. And we're going to make another little sandwich. Put some glue on the leather and onto the biggest piece of card with no notch cut in it. That goes there on the bottom. Then we place on the smallest piece, the smallest rabbit. So it lines up nice and flush with the end and butts up against the leather. And then we're going to put the other piece on top like that. Again, so it butts up, and you've created a little hollow in here. Into that, put lots of glue, and then we're going to force this down, the pointy end, into there. Now, one more thing, we're going to take this piece of card, the thin piece that we just split, put some more glue on it, and then we're going to wrap this round as hard as we can to the contours of the shape we've already just created. Actually, if I just cut one millimetre of that off, that will go around. Basically, the grey board will absorb the glue, and when it dries, it will have dried very firmly, it will have become like one piece, it will have bonded, and this isn't going to fall apart. We're going to leave this somewhere to dry. I've also just drilled a couple more holes, like we did before. This is about a one mil drill bit, and we're drilling right through the card and the leather. Here, and also through this um, little construction and then I've drilled a slightly bigger one at the shoulder end and um, now we need our hot glue and we're going to need the little fingers that we made earlier if there's one that's longest than all the others we'll use this as the middle finger put some hot glue, glue gun over the hole that we drilled in the little hand and then work the end of that finger down through the hole till it comes you see it beginning to come out the other side and you should be able to quite easily 
bend that forward like this and then take three more if you've got one that's fatter than all the others try and you could leave that to be the thumb that looks quite fat so I'll leave that one and then we just put some more glue gun on top of the hand and I'm going to lay these down next to it and then the last one which is the thumb on the side but for now let that dry and repeat with the other arm make sure that you stick the other thumb in the right place so it doesn't end up with two left hands so the last thing we're going to do on the arms and the hands is just cut a few more little strips of wire poke these right through the hole and then bend it down on either side this is just going to secure the leather joints a little bit more you don't want the arms flying off in the middle of the show if you've still got any squares of the papier mache of the newspaper left you're not going to cut them into even smaller little strips glue this paper down around the fingers you've just stuck on just to smooth off some of the edges then we're going to papier mache it over those bits of wire as well so they don't stick out and hurt anyone and then when you're satisfied with that you can put it somewhere warm to dry or just leave it overnight which is what I'm going to do and then we'll deal with this later so what I've got here is one of the bodies on its little stick and if you see here I've made a little curly twisted thing of wire with three loops in it there's one here which is the head um, which the neck is going to go into there's one here and there's one here and these two pieces are what the arms will fix onto I've glued it on um, it's not neat in any way Now we're going to fix the arms on. If you remember, at the end of our arm, this part, we drilled a little hole, and now I've just put some normal string through it. First we're going to tie a knot in it. So this string is coming from one point. Then we just put it through the loop. Now you should have something that looks like this. And we need to fix the head in here we're going to put a little screw in the back of the neck here that will stop the head rising up and falling out so place the head in at the height you want it to be and then make a little mark use something sharp to make a little hole just get the screw started push the head in through the little wire loop screw this in so there's about a centimetre Sticking out, that's not going to go anywhere. Now this is ready to have some clothes made for it. I'm not making the costumes myself for these puppets. I'm getting someone else to do it, which is Tim. So we're just going to go and have a look now. Okay, so, if you've followed the instructions so far, here is where you should be at this stage. He's got a little costume on, very smart and a nice new jacket and tie. And I'm going to put some sticks in the arms so the puppeteers, or you, 
can control them. So I need to cut some wire. That will be the rods to control the arms. I'm just using this galvanized aluminium wire. I think that's what it's called. You can get it from your local hardware store. Other people might use something else for their rods. You can use uh, like sort of carbon fiber rods for example. Um, but I think if your style of making stuff is quite homemade, this wire will, will suit it, even though some people will tell you that it looks too wobbly. Don't listen to them. We're going to have to make a little hole in the bottom of each hand here. For this we need a glue that you mix in two parts because it's very strong. And so I'm going to go out in the garden to do this because it's very smelly and I might become asphyxiated. And um, just mixing the glue up, make sure it's thoroughly mixed, and then spread it on the end of the wire. Stick that, push that right in the hole. Clean off the excess glue, and. We now need to just make a mechanism that will control the head. I'm just going to use an old paper clip for this because we want a slightly thinner wire. I just want to make a small loop that is pinched at one end. It needs to be long enough that it will clear the costume and um, fit into the hole we've just drilled. Like this. So we're going to glue that in now. So now there's only one thing left to do. Take a barbecue skewer. You can just get these in Tesco's. Same in screws. Cut off the sharp end. Now remember the leather from episode one. We need to cut a little strip of leather about eight centimeters by 0.5. We need to feed this through with a little hook coming out the back of the head. It has like a little tag hanging off it like you get in the back of a t-shirt. I need the glue gun, hot glue, the American. Put some on like this. Get it so that it's through and then you want to bring down the leather on either side, glue it on like this. Cut some string. And I'm going to put some PVA glue in and around this little leather strap we've added. Just going to loop this string around. Now we need to let that dry somewhere. Uh, I've just added onto the end of the sticks. This is um, just some gaffer tape wrapped around it. Papier mache on that and paint it black. Don't have to paint it black. So thank you all a lot for watching the films. Here's the finished puppet. And um, if you've made any puppets, you should email me pictures or you can send them to my Facebook page. Thanks for all your comments and um, the emails that people have been sending me. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the films. Okay, well, thanks for watching. And